welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as ZA Reptiles. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to become a wildlife rehabber in the state of New York. Every state has different laws and regulations. So because I am a licensed rehabber in New York state, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So fitting the theme of today's video, I did wear my Snapping Turtle t-shirt that I got from Smiling Snake on Etsy. 10 out of 10 would recommend, I have tons of stuff from them. But Snapping Turtle was my first intake this year once we hit turtle season. So it seemed only fitting. Now I've had my license for going on two years now-ish, somewhere around there. Last year was my first official year, really taking in lots of stuff under my own license. Before that, I had helped with things and was kind of an assistant, if you will. Still had animals that I looked after and took care of, but they weren't on like my license because I didn't have one. So they were on someone else's license and I assisted with them, but was primary keeper of them. So I have five steps for becoming a rehabber in New York State. Step one is get experience. Now this isn't required in New York, though I think it should be. There's too many people out there getting licenses that are just winging it, which does more harm than good. There's really no point in getting your license if you have no idea what you're doing. So first step, find experience. Connect with other wildlife rehabbers, which you can find on the Animal Help Now app or on your local DEC website typically, at least you can in New York. So find other rehabbers or facilities that do rehab and see if you can volunteer, intern, shadow, help out and get experience. There's vet clinics that have a wildlife section. There's all sorts of ways that you can get experience without having to get a license, dive right in and risk the life of an animal because you don't know what you're doing yet. But this way you can also make sure that this is something you actually want to do and something you're actually interested in. Last year I took in a couple of baby squirrels and I wasn't planning on keeping them. I don't know anything about squirrels, but I took them in just long to get them to a rehabber that does do squirrels. And one of them, it meant that I did have them a couple days and I did have to take care of it and not for me. But now I know. So there's animals I will not do. I don't do mammals. I don't do birds. Majority of birds are a whole other license. I am strictly herps, reptiles and amphibians. So you've volunteered, interned, whatever, got some experience, decide this is still something you're interested in and you do want to get your license. Next step is to study. If you go on the New York DEC website under getting licenses and then under rehabbing, they have a practice exam and a study guide. You want to read through the study guide Make sure you understand everything. Practice the math. Medical math is so important. Make sure to practice that so that you understand it and you can do it. And then take the practice exam. So there's some examples of questions that you could possibly see on your exam. It is very long, but it's very beneficial if you want to pass the exam to go through that practice exam and practice. Step three, you have studied, you've done the practice exam, you're feeling good, you definitely want to do this, you have signed up to take the real exam. What's next? Making sure you have a plan. A lot of people go in, they get the license, and they realize they have no plan at all, and it's not really what they expected, even if they have experience. So when I say make a plan, here are some things to consider. Do you have the space, or where are you going to rehab? Where are you going to keep your rehabs? For example, because I rehab herps, I would sometimes have herps. Now, I am not keeping them in my reptile room. These are wild animals that I don't want to expose my captive collection to. So if I had any animals at home, I would have to keep them separate somewhere else that my animals are not. Now, at the moment in time, I don't have a lot of space for that, which is why all of our animals that we rehab are actually at the nature center in a special space that we have just for them. Do you have contacts to help you when you need help? This includes, do you have a vet? Because you're gonna need them. Sometimes, maybe not, but majority of times, you're going to need to consult a vet. So you need to have a vet that is willing to work with you with wild animals. Not a lot of vets are, so make sure you have a vet. Do you have other rehabbers that you can turn to for assistance and for help? Now, even though the director of the Nature Center and I have been doing this for several years now, her longer than me, she's got a lot of good information on the medical side, where I've got the information on the husbandry side, so together we make a pretty good team. But even so, we still consult 
other rehabbers that have done this longer or on a wider scale and sometimes they've seen more things they've tried different things so like last year we got our first turtle that still had eggs now we've repaired shells we've gotten a lot of males but we've never dealt with a turtle that still had eggs so we are consulting not only our vet but we we're consulting a couple other rehabbers as well. Another turtle that we just recently released after having overwinter needed to be gavaged. She wouldn't eat on her own. We had to force feed her and neither one of us knew how to do that. So she went to another rehabber who showed her how to do it, taught her what she needed to do. It really isn't that hard when you've never done it before. You need some guidance. So she was able to show the director. She came back and showed me and now we can gavage whatever turtles need gavaging. But that wasn't something we were trying on our own. We went to another rehabber who also works for another nature center facility and she showed us how to properly do it. And another thing to consider is how are you gonna pay for everything? Are you going to ask for donations? How are you gonna get funding? Because if you're doing this on your own, you're not getting paid to rehab. The government's not paying you. New York State is not paying you. The DEC is not paying you to rehab animals. It's coming out of your pocket, unless you're taking donations. In which case, there's probably a whole legal process regarding that, which I don't know. So those are all things to consider. Now, if you have considered those and you're still gonna go for it, next step is take the exam. I believe the exam is a hundred questions if I remember correctly. So you take the exam, you've got a time limit, it is online. Whether or not they'll move it back to in person, I don't know. My guess is they're probably going to leave it online. So you take the exam online. Okay, you passed. Now what? Step five. You have to fill out a form, send it in. You get this form once you pass the exam and you have to schedule an interview. So you interview with someone from the DEC to make sure that you are not only sane, you know what you're getting into, but that you are well prepared to take this on and receive a license. If all goes well, you then get your license in the mail and you are a licensed wildlife rehabber in the state of New York. Now this doesn't mean that you are able to rehab all animals, there are limitations, like you cannot do rabies vector species, you cannot do deer, you can't do birds of prey, but I'm not gonna get into that because if you are studying to be a rehabber, that is all stuff you are going to have to learn in the study guide. So if you want to get into other things like rabies vectors, birds of prey, you're gonna have to go a couple steps further and get your different licenses. But these are the five steps to get just your basic license. All right, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful for those of you that live in New York that are thinking about getting your wildlife rehab license. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you for the next video. Bye.